When you hear the name Maurice Boucher, the words violent and ruthless might come to mind. As a full-patch member of the notorious Hells Angels Motorcycle Club, Boucher became one of Canada's most dangerous criminals. His reign of terror in the 1990s left a trail of death and destruction, making him a household name for all the wrong reasons. But what led Boucher down this dark path, and how did he become the most violent Hells Angel ever? So let's dive in. According to a statement from Correctional Service Canada, Boucher passed away on July 10, 2022 from apparent natural causes. Maurice Mom Boucher, the former leader of the Hells Angels, passed away at 69. Boucher had suffered throat cancer while serving a life sentence in the St. Anne des Plaines Penitentiary. The statement confirmed that Boucher had been serving a life sentence for a litany of charges, including two counts of first-degree murder, attempted murder, conspiracy to commit murder, assault with a weapon, and carrying a weapon for a dangerous purpose. According to sources, Boucher had refused treatment for months until he was transferred to a medical facility on the prison grounds for palliative care. Boucher was widely regarded as one of Quebec's most notorious criminals with a reputation for violence and ruthlessness during his time as head of the Hells Angels. However, Boucher remained a feared and influential figure in the biker gang world despite his incarceration. News of his death has sent shockwaves through the criminal underworld and beyond, with many wondering what this means for the future of the Hells Angels and organized crime in Quebec. In Young Age Maurice Boucher's life of crime began at a young age, with his heavy drug use leading him down a path of petty criminality. At the age of 21, he admitted to using LSD, cocaine, and heroin during a string of break-ins that would eventually lead to his sentencing. Seven years later, the Montreal police began to take notice of Boucher, with a police report indicating they were keeping a close eye on his activities at a brasserie in Hochelaga Maisonneuve. Little did they know that Boucher would soon become one of Canadian history's most feared and ruthless criminals. Boucher's criminal career took a dramatic turn when he joined the outlaw motorcycle gang known as the SS. Despite his involvement, one police detective noted that Boucher didn't stand out from the other members. However, his eventual entry into the notorious Hells Angels would cement his place in Canadian criminal history. Notorious Hells Angel On May 1, 1987, Boucher was welcomed into the gang as a full-patch member of its Montreal chapter. By 1994, he had become known among Montreal's drug dealers as a fierce and ruthless competitor. In the late 80s, Boucher joined the Angels, and by the 90s, he had co-founded a local chapter in Quebec, which quickly grew in size and influence. He used his power as a Hells Angel to intimidate rival drug dealers and force them to relinquish their territory to him. However, not all of Boucher's rivals were willing to back down. Notably, the Rock Machine decided to stand up to Boucher, which sparked a brutal biker gang war that shook Quebec to its core. Boucher's power and influence only grew from there, culminating in the formation of his own Hells Angels chapter. This Nomads chapter was unlike any other, as it was not limited by geography and could operate freely throughout Quebec and beyond. The Nomads chapter was dealt a significant blow. In March of 2001, almost all of the chapter's members were arrested as part of Operation Springtime 2001, a massive investigation into their drug trafficking activities. What stood out in the investigation was the staggering amount of cocaine the chapter had sold in a mere six weeks. 1,916 kilograms between November 10 and December 19, 2000 alone, netting them over $8 million in profit. But Boucher's crimes went far beyond drug trafficking. In 2002, he was sent to jail for ordering the assassination of two Quebec prison guards in 1997. In the years following Boucher's imprisonment, there was no shortage of fascination with the notorious criminal. In 2005, retired police officer Michel Houlette published a book about him called Mom. The book, which shed light on Boucher's life and crimes, was set to be re-released, further fueling public intrigue. The pressure was mounting on Maurice Mom Boucher in 1997. Police were closing in on the notorious Hells Angels leader who was suspected of orchestrating the drug trafficking operations that were tearing Quebec apart. In a desperate attempt to intimidate the justice system, Boucher ordered his underlings to carry out a series of brutal killings. Among their targets were prison guards, who were seen as a direct threat to the Hells Angels' control of the drug trade. On September 8, 1997, Boucher's henchmen struck, firing several shots into a bus carrying prison guards. Pierre Rondo was killed and Robert Corriveau was wounded in the attack. Diane Levine had already been murdered a few months prior as she was leaving work at the Montreal Detention Center. These cold-blooded killings sent shockwaves throughout Quebec, 
marking a turning point in the fight against organized crime. Despite spending most of his life behind bars, Maurice Boucher remained a force to be reckoned with in the criminal underworld. He survived multiple attempts on his life and even managed to converse with Vito Rizzuto, the notorious leader of the Montreal Mafia, just before Rizzuto was extradited to the U.S. to face charges. During his time in prison, Boucher continued to wield influence, even orchestrating a conspiracy to kill Reynal Desjardins, a rival underworld figure behind bars. Desjardins had been sentenced for his role in the slaying of mob boss Salvatore Montagna in 2011. By the time of his death, Boucher had amassed an extensive criminal record, including convictions for two counts of first-degree murder, attempted murder, conspiracy to murder, assault with a weapon, and carrying a weapon with a dangerous purpose. Despite his brutal and bloody legacy, Boucher's life and crimes continue to fascinate and intrigue Canadians. Death of Maurice Boucher The death of Maurice Boucher, one of Quebec's most notorious criminals, has reignited memories of the bloody biker war that plagued the province for eight years. Guy Oulet, a former provincial police officer who spent his career pursuing members of the Angels, including Boucher, expressed condolences for the victims of the conflict. In an interview, he said, My first thought when I heard about Boucher's death today was to go to the jail guards. So we talk about Boucher, but we have to never forget about these two jail guards who were innocent victims of that biker war. That biker war began in 1994 and spanned eight years as the Hells Angels fought for distribution turf against the rival group, the Rock Machine. It is regarded as one of Quebec's most violent gang conflicts, Ouellette said. Boucher wanted control of the drug market in certain areas of Montreal, said Ouellette, who is now an MNA for Chomedy Quebec. Despite the notoriety that surrounded Boucher, Ouellette never lost sight of the victims. He said, I just feel sorry for the victims. With this statement, he further emphasized the importance of remembering the two jail guards who were innocent victims of the biker war. For Ouellette, Boucher's death is just another page in that era's violent and tragic legacy. Maurice Boucher's time in prison was marked by violence, including two incidents where he was targeted by other inmates. In 2002, Boucher was the victim of a makeshift knife attack, which he survived thanks to the intervention of fellow inmates who killed his attacker. In 2010, reports surfaced that Boucher had been stabbed in a fight involving four people, two of whom were also stabbed. The reasons for the attacks remain unclear. Crime reporter Danielle Renault, who has covered Boucher's time in prison for La Presse, said, Why? We've never been sure of the attacker's intentions. Renault speculated that the attackers were looking to prove their valor. Following Boucher's recent death, the coroner will investigate the incident's circumstances. Additionally, the Correctional Service of Canada will conduct its own review, as it does in all inmate deaths. As is always the case in the death of an inmate, the Correctional Service of Canada will examine the circumstances of the incident, the CSC said in a news release. What do you think of the shocking story of Maurice Boucher? Comment below and subscribe for more such videos.